We got our blueberry bush from Stark Brothers that I ordered in June, but they had run out and we got it today. It looks real healthy. All right, Kevin wanted me to show you a little before. We're gonna replace some of this wood and uh, clean, clean that up. There's those sticks I was telling you about. And they used to have goats here. So anyway, this is the before. We're gonna put a block of wood up under here so it'll t attach there. I think that's how they had it before. So it's starting to drizzle, we gotta get moving. Show them the pig thing. Feeder. Oh, I thought you already did. I don't know if I did. Anyways, yeah, we got the pig feeder up. Yeah, I, I might have shown you all this. I don't remember. We got that up. Still haven't got the water barrel done. Well, okay, we're get we'll be started. back. I have one 2x4 left. I had one 2x4 left to do this with. And that's because the price of 2x4s, well, the price of lumber, period, has gotten totally stupid. Paid $8 per 2x4 out here in the sticks. Probably could have got it for 6 bucks at Lowe's, but I would have had to drive another 40 minutes, 20 minutes further. But, so, needless to say, I won't be buying much lumber until these prices settle down if they ever do. So, basically I cut those at two, both at 33, close these up, and this is the rest of that board. So, I'm gonna brace up the door like that, but the other one that's gonna be the stationary part isn't gonna get the braces. So, that's just the way it goes. So, what I'll do now is just screw this stuff together. And that'll be it. Close enough. I know this isn't very professional, but the way it's gonna be. I'm not gonna clamp it. We'll be back when we're done with this. Got the side gate on. Now we're 
we're going to put the door on. Alright, we're back. So I split this in half, attached all of it. ended up doing was putting a piece of rebar down here i drilled a hole for that that way that would balance you know keep this stationary we got a little latch right here to open up and obviously the hinges over there next thing got to do is put some tin on it and we'll be done and a water barrel and the water barrel and a door handle but we're probably gonna put the handle up here too because we're gonna have the in right here and this is 36 inches the metal's like 37 or whatever i will be able to just reach in there grab it unlock it pull it like that reach over onto the wood so we'll have the handle up here it'll be pretty simple yeah nothing too complicated okay we'll be back with the tin okay welcome back uh this is it pretty much finished with it So I wouldn't have to go through the through the uh, um, tin, and we're probably gonna end up putting a little handle right here so we can just, you know, unlock this. I mean, we probably don't even need a handle. I mean, we can just grab it like that. But that's that's pretty much it. The pig palace. The pig palace is done. Not much of a palace, but. There's Good some mineral. Enough. We're going to use that, put, put that up on the board there, and that'll be for free, free min eating minerals. Um, I'll just put them in there. And um, my sister had sent me a video about covering up holes because the pigs will dig in it. We have some fencing that I'm going to put right along there and any other spot I think they will see as a good escape route but honestly I mean they have this pasture this whole pasture and we're gonna um, leave it the gate open so they wow. can come out um, and this opening faces south too by the way so. yeah I mean, in the winter, uh, with the north wind, we'll be coming from the other direction. Plus, our house is kind of blocking it. Yeah. The trees, the, the, you know, a lot of the stuff's going to, you know, we're going to, the north wind's going to be blocked anyway. Plus, this opening face is south, so we'll be, I mean, the pigs are going to be all right. I mean, the yeah. pigs. They have plenty of hay to keep warm. and. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, they'll they're, have they're everything they need. This is about... Uh, I said an acre, acre, but it's more like a half, half acre, yeah, about a half acre, so, I mean, for two pigs, they're going to have more than enough, so, we're... Uh, I want to give a uh, little thank you, special shout out to uh, Ted and Judy for giving us the rest of this tin. Yes, they gave us a Our bunch of tin. Uh, so I hooked this up with the rest of this just to finish this up. Thank you, Ted and Judy. And I actually got a bunch more of it. We were going to put more of it up, but decided not to. Um, so, that's good enough. And we have more yep. tin. They gave us more tin uh, that we could use to build whatever else we're going to build with, with it. So, yeah. Still got a few sheets left. And, yeah. And uh, just want to say thank you to them. Yeah. Well, you can wrap it up. All righty. Well, uh, uh, be blessed and love well. Bye now. Okay. We have the wire up. I put that up all around the stall. And... 
Kept having to attach the feeder for the minerals. A little piece of fencing there. All done. It's not cattle paddle panel, but it is heavy enough and firm enough that I think it will deter the pigs from digging if it I don't I think it will. If it doesn't, it doesn't, but we can say we tried. <laughs> it's all a learning process. I just want to give a special thank you to a special subscriber who suggested the fencing in the pig palace, and that would be my sister. Thank you, Mary Jane. Great suggestion. Thank you.